And now a clip from the desk of the apostle. Exodus chapter 17. Uh, it says in verse 14, but I want to go back. Let's, let's go back to. Let's go back to verse 8. Then came Amalek and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men and go out. Fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in mine hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands were heavy and they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat thereon. And Aaron and Hur stood up his hands, the one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were still steady unto the going down of the sun and Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword and the Lord said unto Moses write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua he didn't say just say it one time he said rehearse it you know this was a constant keep reminding Joshua of this for I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven Joshua was given to be called for leadership as he was called for leadership before God sent them out, Joshua received training. All right. Under someone that God was using. Mm -hmm. We're going somewhere with this. Yes, we are. It's a lot of leaders right now that God wants to train up and raise up and use. A lot of us don't understand and receive the fact that God has called us to choose to use us because right now we're caught up in the middle of something. <laughs> but there's a reason for that. One of the reasons you're caught up is because there has been weapons formed against you. One of the reasons why is because God called you. You say so. Another reason why is because the devil don't want to lose. The devil don't want the truth. It's getting so now where the devil is even walking in the church. That's right. Undetected. That's right. Ruling the church. Amen. Undetected. Mm -hmm. When folks stand up, they're so busy saying, I give out of the God for all the good he's doing. Wait a minute. The Bible says to be sober and vigilant. That's right. That means to be clear headed and watchful. If God has called you to be a leader, you ain't got no time to smile. Nah. You ain't got no time to laugh. You really don't have no time for pleasures of the world. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not talking to those of you that don't have a spiritual job. So if, if you say, well, I find time to have, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the leaders. Mm -hmm. Number one, we're anointed by God to do this work. And the Holy Ghost brings back to our remembrance everything Jesus said. But in order for him to bring it back to our remembrance, what we have to do is to receive something inside of us. Yes, sir. That there may be something to bring back. Seminary schools are not going to give you spiritual wisdom. Oh, it'll make you sound intelligent. <laughs> oh yeah you might be able to jump from Matthew to Malachi and tell people where it is <laughs> alright but you know what you know what the devil says <laughs> Jesus I knew <laughs> Paul I know <laughs> but who are you Come on. Go ahead. your children bound you That's right. I'm quoting the scripture That's yeah right. yeah yeah mm -hmm. oh, I quote the scripture to Jesus in the wilderness mm -hmm. <laughs> but the only way you can defeat Satan is with the word raw and uncut that's right if a person don't like it that's between them and God that's because right. they're, that's right. they're God's garden that's right when you go and someone asks you to go and 
check on their garden and make sure it's fine. If you see a little worm or a bug or something and you get it out the way or, 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 or the worm or the bug is doing damage to the crop and you were to remove it, if the worm has a problem and, and just you know, just receive the context. If the word, the worm has a problem with being removed, you're only doing what you were told to do. That's right. That's right. They got all kind of groups now. Some groups are, are protecting animals, so they say, telling you don't eat meat. Let's be vegetarians. You're cruel for killing. God is not a killing God. I just thought I read in the Bible though, where God told Noah. I give you flesh for meat. I, maybe I'm wrong. No, that's the word. I, I, I also thought that I read what Paul said, everything, which uh, all of y'all that say don't eat pork, everything that, that God made is good and to be received with thanksgiving and, and, and prayer. I mean, this is raw and uncut. That's right. Yes, sir. If you want to eat hamburgers, praise God, eat them. Say your grace first and eat them. <laughs> In, 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 in the church, even the way that they're using, uh, some leaders are using Malachi 3. <laughs> some of them are using it in the wrong context. All right. Beating you up to take the money. Yes, sir. But yet and still there's a sister in the church that has nothing. All right. All right. Some of the leaders are standing up behind the pulpit. Now, I'm not talking to y'all that God put there. But, but you know, because see, if this word uh, wasn't for you, then it wouldn't, it, 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 there would be no kind of feeling. Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. Because the only time we have a problem with God's word is when it wants to do work in us. You ready, brother? <laughs> yeah, I, I, hey. You ready? Yes, yes. The only time that, 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 that we have a problem with the word is when it wants to do work in us. <laughs> Because, see, that word gets in us and it cuts garbage. Mm. And listen to this. Not only does it go one way, <laughs> but if it miss anything that way, <laughs> it's a two-edged sword. Wait a minute. You say, yeah, I know how sharp it is. No, you don't. The Bible says the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. There is nothing that can cut like the word of God. Nothing. The word of God will cause your family to hate you. The word of God will cause people to put you out of the church. The word of God will cause other folk that's not doing nothing to try to tell you you're wrong because you are doing something. <laughs> yeah, God. Folk need to receive this. And this is what God was trying to tell Joshua. He told Joshua, he said, meditate on this word. Don't let it depart from your mouth. Satan is taking over the church. We need to stop him from this. Man. And guess what? As long as we remain uneducated about the word, we don't stand a chance. This was another clip from the desk of the apostle. Join us again another time for another clip. God bless you and thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.